Hi everyone. In the last video, we have discussed about how to create a stock market trend line based on the historical information we have in an Excel. We also created a moving averages. So in this video, what we are going to do is how to create your own data stories based on the data which you have. It may not be a stock market, it could be anything related to your plant, your operations, your vision and your own ideas. So let's try to make data stories from your own data. Here we have uh, data from 2010 to 2020. Let's cut it short to two years and analyze what has happened during this period. You can see the price was at 224 which has dropped to 157. It's a steep drop in two months of time. Similarly, it could have something might have happened in your business as well. In this case, what might have happened? Is it only for Apple product or for Microsoft also the share, share value has came down or not? So let's check to understand whether it is a global issue or it is specific to that product. You can see Microsoft has no issue during 2019 uh, starting, whereas COVID-19 has impacted both the product. So it might have happened for all the uh, products and it, it is a global issue. Whereas uh, Q4 2018, what has happened to Apple? So there are many reasons like US, China trade war and the uh, Apple sales has decreased and the investors lost the confidence and there are many other issues. So in, in your business also, there could have something happened uh, when you look at the data. So you have to build a data story based on your information, which is more critical for any business. Now look back uh, into your own data and see what has happened in, in your business. Say whether the sales has came down or whether uh, the production has increased. So identify the patterns, reasons and trends in your own business. And this can give you a better idea about what has historically happened, what happened on a crisis time. So for each seasonal trend, uh, so the, all these historical patterns and based on this data, it is very important. Now let's understand what has happened for Microsoft during this same period. Microsoft did not have any decline till the COVID-19 pandemic happened. Now it is recovering as well. So during this period, they have a lot of products, cloud solutions, uh, Azure, Xbox, gaming solutions and everything which has been trending up and their sales has been increased and their record profit has been made during this period. So same way in your business as well or your uh, interest area, you have to build a story on top of it. Let's move to the next topic in this video, which is on creating trend lines. So the candlestick instead of a trend line. So you have the information in the historical code, you can see close, open, high, low, everything is available and there are standard visuals available. You can get more visuals from the app source. So the moment you click on this, get source, the app source opens. There are a lot of uh, charts and visualization available for easiness purpose. Let's search for the candle chart. So you can see the candle chart, add it, and this will be added as a separate visual under your visualization section. You can definitely add this into your uh, normal section, which is the above. So you can right click on that and pin to visualization pane. So this will be added to your default visualization section. Now, how can we use it? You can select that and click on the candlestick. So the data is changing, but definitely you have to change the moving average details over here because candlestick always requires the open, close, low and high values. So you have to choose these parameters properly. So let me remove all these uh, items and add open as open and the close as the close last field and high and low. Why this is required? because this will help to define the candlesticks. You have seen the candlesticks in green and 
uh, red color which is bullish and bearish so this yeah it has uh, now came so it will look like this from taking from 2018 to 2020 you can reduce to current year so that your bar will be much simpler and short and you can see the visualization properly so this looks like a stock market trend now let's go to the properties and modify some of the parameters as you can see the green is bullish and red is bearish uh, nobody want to change that because that is a standard practice across the globe you can add or remove the high low caps you can see there's a cap the moment i click on on it will be available if you don't want that you can remove now there are trend lines which i will come to that later you can see the x-axis so this chart has by default showing continuous you can change to categorical categorical will show every date individually some people would prefer that but that looks so clumsy so if you don't want that you can change it back to continuous so it, it gives a uh, gap of a month in between which looks much neat and then you can change the colors and you can change the grid line which is showing as a cross over here if you don't want you can remove that y axis has also has a similar options available and there's an interesting uh, fact for color blindness so if you are color blind you can understand all these but if you are not then probably you will not see any uh, much of a value addition over there but all these patterns and type of uh, visions are available which can be made use of it uh, based on the requirement otherwise you can see the normal and move on so here you can see another option uh, which is sounds interesting is like a background option so you can have a function uh, defined over here you don't have to program anything you can directly select that and there are multiple format scales available if you choose color scale there's a diverging color scale possible where you can put a minimum say for example $40 is a minimum which will show uh, light blue whereas uh, $200 is center and uh, $400 can show a dark blue so such uh, background can be modified based on the uh, value of the uh, share and coming back to uh, initial properties we have seen the trend lines so what is the trend line you can add 1m 3m 6m or 9m the moving averages which we have seen in the initial video where we have been showing the uh, trend analysis so the trend line can be added on top of the candle chart so uh, as you can see here uh, the moment 1m is selected the one month average is showing up you can add 3m and 6m and 9m and everything and create your own uh, stories and you can have multiple type of visualizations possible on this the context might be different in your own business so the important factor is you will have to build a data story on top of your business information which is more meaningful so i hope uh, you like this and let me know your thoughts and ideas on this in the comment section below if you like the video please share like and subscribe thank you